So I'm at the Audubon Center at the Riverlands. It's in West Alton, Missouri. And today is Pelican Day. They're supposed to have a live pelican here. So here's where the live pelican is. Does he like standing on that um, fake yes. grass? There's a lot of warblers. Joe has been sending me pictures of warblers coming into Wild Bird Rehab. Yeah. Right. I went over and saw him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trying to identify them. Oh, it's open to identify them. <laughs> yeah, it seems yeah. sort of pitting us all against each other. Yeah. With Colleen it, checking in on oh, it. Gee. Blackburnian or. Cape May or, uh, yeah. Is this a male or a female? I believe it's a male. You believe it's a male? Okay. Yep. He's bigger. We have a one at home. They're both adults and older, but he has a longer bill than she does, so that's one of the main differences. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. The coloration is really very similar. But right. I was wondering how you tell the difference, but I figured it probably had something to do with larger, you know, larger feet and stuff. Is he pretty friendly? Uh, he's tolerant. But he's tolerant. Oh, okay, friendly. okay, that's yeah, good. Go. Pretty nice out here. Actually, this is one of the buildings that I used to clean when I had my job. Um, bird peaks, um, and then from looking at all these different shapes and sizes, like what can we really tell about how this animal eats? Um, there's a huge difference between something like this, which is our familiar pelican, um, versus their bald eagle right here. Um, oh, that's a bald eagle skull. Yeah, um, not a real one. I did not kill a bald oh, eagle. Oh, cool. I promise. All there's right, so th here. these are all replicants. Mm -hmm. That's they cool. They sure are, yeah. That's something people are always concerned about. Yeah. He's to school sometimes, and I'm like, a bald eagle's fall, and it's just like horror on their face, <laughs> thinking I killed a bald eagle. Um, uh, definitely did not kill a bald eagle or any of these cases. So are the pelicans around here like the ones that are out on like the coast, like where this oceans? And... Um, they are not. There's actually eight species of pelicans worldwide. Okay. Um, the kind of crazy aerial videos you see of them diving down. Yeah. Those are the California brown pelicans. Um, which are different than ours. Ours don't do that kind of crazy diving like that. Okay. Um, but do they have a mouth like this? They sure do. Um, they do. Actually, um, the, what we have here is the American white pelican. Um, okay. And they are um, significantly larger than the brown pelicans um, ah, that you see, see out on the coast. Not the largest in the world. That's the Dalmatian pelican. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Um, they still uh, have that scooping behavior, um, but these do this more from the surface, and they're kind of cool. they're cooperative hunters, so they'll work together with each other, um, and sometimes with cormorants hey. too, and to try and corral the fish. Oh, I see, and yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, and they'll do um, kind of like how our ducks are dabblers and go okay. across the surface, um, and then do the tip up um, kind of thing behavior. That's um, a lot more similar to what our pelican here. That to our area, it does. Oh, okay. not the diving. Um, but yeah, they'll still do. Um, this is an American white pelican picture here, um, and you can kind of see. I think it's very interesting um, because just like us, they have an upper and a lower mandible. Um, uh -huh. But unlike us, they cannot only open, you know, vertically. They can also open horizontally. You can see right here that lateral oh, movement. Yeah. That lateral um, mandible or uh, the lower mandible can actually expand laterally to facilitate fully opening um, that pouch, the rhubarb pouch. Okay, so they scoop up the fish and allow the water in the water. Somehow they extend the water. Put their head back a little bit and get and they get the fish. Yes. Well, that's cool. So, yeah. Um, and then they do have, they are meat eaters, so a lot, um, like how our eagle over here has a hook at the end, meat eaters, mm -hmm. um, meeting birds generally do have some sort of a hook. So if there's a particularly slushy, uh, or uh, slippery or large fish, they can actually use this hook to help hold it in. Oh, um, that's very interesting. 
Okay. I have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to put this on YouTube. Oh, okay. Very cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Which one? Laurel Park. Laurel Park? Yeah. We're there five times a week walking. Yeah. 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 Two cans. Palm oil. Is, is palm oil what they're getting rid of the forest for? Yeah, they've been cutting down, uh, clear cutting. The rainforest? In Asia oh man, they, they are just devastating that. And a lot of orangutans yes. Yes. Are, be, are in danger. That's just horrible. There's actually an app on the back here um, that'll help you. So the Union of Concerned Scientists has started basically grading companies based on where they're sourcing their palm oil because um, some companies have started doing it sustainably. Mm -hmm. um, so that app, when you're out shopping, you can look up your brand and see what their what their rating is if they're Great. contributing to deforestation or not. Thank you. Yeah, no That's very interesting. T-shirts for sale. I really like this place. I'll give you a look around. Trumpeter swan. That is one big bird. Lots of things for the kids to do. Butterfly in there. Robin's nest. I don't know what's supposed to be in there. 